Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. I hope you all are fine and staying safe and happy. I am your GK teacher, Ms. Farheen, and I welcome you all to your GK class. My dear students, as you know, that we are on unit number 13, and the name of our unit is Things Around Us. Today, I am going to deliver its 12th lecture, and the lecture is about domestic and wild animals. But before that, uh, before moving on towards the main lecture, let's quickly recap what we did in the previous lecture. Look at the pictures very carefully, and then tell me that what are names of animals that you see around? So, you see different animals in your house, or when you are going out, when you are going out, you see different animals in the streets and roads. So, quickly tell me their names. Very good. Okay, my dear students, now is the time to have a look at today's student learning outcome. In today's lecture, students will be able to identify the differences between common and domestic and wild animals. In terms of physical features, they will also be able to differentiate between animals that can and cannot be kept at home with reasons. So, my dear students, today we will study because we have studied many animals about which we have seen in the field. Now, we will categorize them into which animals are wild and which animals are domestic. And you can also tell us with reason that which animals you can keep at home and which animals we cannot keep at home in the field. So my dear students, now let's quickly look at the Islamic perspective. So Allah says in Quran, and there is no creature on the earth or bird that flies with its wings except communities like you, we have not neglected in the register a thing. So my dear students, Allah Ta'ala jo hai, woh har makhmood ke khalik hai, aur Allah Ta'ala ne har cheez jo hai, usko naap tol ke binaya hai, aur Allah Ta'ala ke paas har cheez jo hai, woh mehfuz hai, Allah Ta'ala ne note down ki bhi hai. اللہ تعالیٰ نے بہت سارے پرندوں کو بنایا ہے جانوروں کو پودوں کو انسانوں کو ہر چیز یعنی کہ اللہ تعالیٰ کی بنائی بھی ہے So my dear students now is the time for pre-reading question So quickly tell me that can we keep an elephant in our house Of course not ہم ہاتھی اپنے گھر میں نہیں رکھ سکتے as a pet So my dear students now let's move forward towards the reading So I request you all to please open domestic and wild animals in your GK1 box I hope everybody has opened the page. So now let's start the reading. Put your fingers where I will read. Domestic and wild animals. Domestic and wild animals. Many of the animals live with us. They are domestic animals. They serve us in many ways. They are lively in nature. We give food to these animals. Can you find such animals from the previous picture? So my dear students, you are seeing here that domestic animals are those animals that you can find in your house یا اپنے فارم ہاؤس میں بریڈ کروا سکتے ہیں اور ان کو رکھ سکتے ہیں ایسے جانور جو ہوتے ہیں ان کو آپ خود سے کھانا دیتے ہیں ان کی ٹیک کیر کرتے ہیں اور اکثر یہ جانور جو ہیں ہمیں بہت سارے فائدے دیتے ہیں تو اب آپ نے اب آپ ایک کوششن کا ذرا انصر کریں Can we keep a lion or a hippo at our house? A big no A lion and a hippo lives in jungle. They are wild animals. They can make harm to us. They can make harm to us. So my dear students, lion or hippo jo hai, ye jungle mein rehte hai. So that is why they are wild animals. Or in ko hum ghar mein isli nahi rakh sakte, kyunke ye hume nuksan pahuncha sakte hai. They can be harmful. So here is the picture जो हमने previous lecture में भी देखी थी तो इस picture में से जल्दी से domestic animals जो हैं उनको pick out करें so all these animals are domestic animals क्योंकि आप इनको अपने घर में रख सकते हैं इनको अपने farm house पे भी रख सकते हैं so these are domestic animals okay horse dog hen cat cow buffalo sparrows squirrels donkeys these all are domestic animals and they provide us with lots of benefits. So here is the picture of some wild animals like hippo, rhino, uh, elephant, monkey, 
snake, deer. So these all are wild animals which live in wild or in jungle. Okay, my dear students. So animals around us are of two types: domestic animals, domestic, and wild animals. So my dear students, so domestic animals are like horse, squirrel. Cows, buffaloes, dog, cat, donkey, chicken, hen, sparrow, these all are domestic animals. So wild animals, uh, cows and buffaloes, uh, they provide, uh, we provide them with food. Yani ke hume inhe khana dena padta hai. Iske ilawa ye hume transportation mein help karte hai. Ye hume milk dete hai, meat dete hai, eggs aur... Um, Inko, we can also keep them as pet. They also give us eggs, milk. So wild animals are like monkeys, elephant, lion, hippo, deer, snake. These all are wild animals which live in jungle. Kangaroos and ये they feed on their own यानि कि ये अपना खाना खुद तलाश करते हैं और खाते हैं इनको हम घर में नहीं रख सकते क्योंकि ये हमारे लिए harmful होते हैं Okay, now is the time for evaluation so I will ask the questions from the listening and speaking question from question number 29 till 33 So what are domestic animals? Domestic animals are those which we can keep in our house So what are wild animals? Wild animals are those anim animals which live in jungle. So why can't we, cannot we keep wild animals at our house? Because they can be harmful to us. So where do wild animals live? Wild animals live in jungle. So name five wild animals. Lion, monkey, tiger, elephant, hippo, snake. These all are examples of wild animals. So now is the time for practice. For practice you can download this worksheet from the description box below this video or you can get it in print form by your teacher. So write down your name and your class then things around us. So identify domestic and wild animals and write their names in respective columns. So here are some animals given with their names. So you have to pick out the animal's name and put it in domestic or wild animal. So donkey is a domestic animal. So I will write it in so elephant or let's say fox, fox is a wild animal, so it will come under wild animal column. So this is how you will complete the worksheet, pause the video and quickly finish it. I hope you have done it, so submit it to your teacher. Now let's quickly move forward towards your homework. For homework you will do home activity number 8 given on page number 115. So according to this activity students what they will do is they will arrange a visit to the visit to the zoo with your parents and find out and make a list of wild animals that were present in the zoo. So my dear students, very fun activity hai aapke liye, aapne parents se kahe ke wo aapke liye ek uh, visit to the zoo jo hai wo arrange kare. Waha aapne kya karna hai, aapne different animals jo hai unko observe karna hai aur waha per wild animals hote hai, they, uh, we bring them, uh, the zoo management brings them from the jungle to the zoo aur per unko cages mein waha rakha jata hai. आपने एक लिस्ट बनानी है कि आपने वहां कौन-कौन से वाइल्ड एनिमल्स जो है वो ऑब्जर्व किए सो दिस इज योर होमवर्क सो नाउ व्हाट वी विल डू इज इट्स टाइम फॉर रैप अप सो टुडे वी हैव लर्न्ड दैट डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स लिव विद अस दे सर्व अस एंड वी गिव देम फूड वाइल्ड एनिमल्स लिव इन जंगल दे गेट देयर ओन फूड फ्रॉम प्लांट्स एंड बाय हंटिंग सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स जो है ये हमारे साथ रहते हैं ये हमें बहुत सारी चीजें प्रोवाइड करते हैं जो एनिमल्स वाइल्ड एनिमल्स होते हैं दे लिव इन जंगल और ये अपना खाना जो है ये खुद फाइंड आउट करते हैं लाइक दे हंट और दे गेट फूड फ्रॉम द प्लांट्स एंड अदर वन थिंग एल्स इज दिस के वी कैन नॉट कीप देम इन आवर हाउस बिकॉज दे कैन बी हार्मफुल टू अस सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू हैव एंजॉय टूडेज लेक्चर एंड नाउ यू नो दैट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन डोमेस्टिक एंड वाइल्ड एनिमल्स कीप एवरीबडी अराउंड यू सेफ हैव ए गुड डे थैंक यू सो मच एंड अल्लाह हाफिज